So you want the secret to creating over 1,000 YouTube shorts in under 14 minutes by using AI automation and these new secret tools that most people don't even know exist yet. This channel is pulling in over $47,000 every month by posting simple YouTube shorts. If you've seen one of those make 1,000 YouTube shorts with AI videos before, I need you to forget everything. Because what I'm about to show you is not the same old method that everyone's been copying from each other for the past couple of years. But here's what nobody's telling you. The old psychology facts method that everyone has been teaching is now dead. The algorithm caught on and this niche is now flooded. So I spent nine weeks testing a completely different content format that's exploding right now. And I'm going to show you how you can create over 1,000 of these shorts for YouTube in under 25 minutes completely free using AI even if you're a complete beginner. Make sure to stay until the end of this video because I'm also going to be giving away the exact new tools, chat GPT prompts, Canva templates, and a list of 10 untapped niches that pay extremely high and are not saturated yet. Now, before I show you this brand new method and walk you through how to create it step by step, I think it's important that we go over the old method to show you why it no longer works. Over the past couple of years, a bunch of YouTubers released a video how you can create 500 plus YouTube shorts in under two hours. The problem with their method was that it included many paid software tools and it required way too much manual work that would take up a lot of time. This is because the YouTube creators who made these videos were not aware about AI and the progress that AI automation has made. Because of this, their method is no longer relevant and the people who use that method are now getting outcompeted by those who know how to use AI. Their method looks something like this. Step 1. Go into ChatGPT and ask it to create you 30 titles for funny YouTube shorts, and you would have to copy them one by one and manually paste them into your Google Sheet. As you can tell, this becomes extremely time consuming, especially if you're trying to make content in bulk and compete with people who are using AI tools. With this method, AI would come up with the ideas for you, but you would still have to manually copy and paste them, which would take hours. That's why I created this new method that I call the Viral Rail Generator. So what you guys are looking at is a system that I created that automatically comes up with viral YouTube video ideas for you, and it's going to map them on a Google Sheet that looks just like this one. So if we come over to this, we can click on this button, and what it's going to do is it's going to ask us to pick a topic or theme that we want to make videos about. For the sake of this video, I'll say funny animal facts. And then we click submit, exit out. You can see this AI agent is going to come up with all sorts of funny video ideas about those animal facts for us. And once this automation is done running, we're going to check the Google Sheet because this should update it automatically for us. That way we don't have to do any of the work. So you saw it took less than one minute. And if we go over, you can see it did come up with a few ideas for us. And now just for that example, I set it to only do 10 rows, but I just went back in there and I had it do 30 now so if we test it again using the same thing we'll say funny animal facts you'll see that it can auto populate 30 rows so you can see it's working right now we'll just come in here and wait for it to update so the AI agent right now is coming up with ideas all on its own without us having to do anything and then it's gonna pass it along to that Google sheet that way it automatically does it And there we go, it looks like it did update, so let's go take a look. And you can see it did update, and now we have 41 viral real ideas. So don't worry, because at the end of this video, I'm going to give you access to this automation and to this Google Sheet, that way you don't have to make your own, you could just copy mine. Okay, so now that we have this Google Sheet with all of this information that's going to make our viral real, what we want to do is turn this into a video, and the easiest way to do that is a website called canva.com, and they do have a free plan available. So once you're on the website, you just want to come over to this Create button, and we can just look up YouTube Short. And you can see it right here. We'll just click on that. And that will basically bring you to a canvas that looks just like this, and we're essentially going to be making a template for our shorts. So the first step is you can come over to this Elements, and you can look up sunset or look up something nature wise because this is what we're going to use as the background I like this one so I'll just click that drag it over and once you see it pop up like that just let go 
and it'll be set to the background perfectly like that. And now for the next step, we could just click on this text right here, click on heading and drag it right over, place it somewhere up top, just like this. And then what we could do is we can make it bigger and we can also change the font by clicking on this right here and you can look through, they have plenty of different fonts. I'm just going to pick this one because I like the way this one looks and then I'm going to make it bold as well. And then I'm going to come over to effects and we can add a background effect. That way it stands out a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. And I'll change the background color as well to make it something that pops out a little bit. So that looks pretty good. And instead of this saying heading, what you want to do is you want to come over to the Google sheet and just grab that title. So for this one, we'll do this one right here. We'll do number 12. So we'll select that, come back over to Canva and replace that with the title. And now, as you can see, it looks a little bit weird. So what I'm going to do is stretch it out a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. That way the whole thing fits a little bit better. Just adjust it until it looks pretty good. So that looks pretty good just like that. And now the next step, you want to select another heading and drag that right over just like that. And we can resize that again, pick a different font. And we'll make that bold and maybe this time we'll do this white and for effects we'll do outline and we'll have it be a black outline so I think that looks pretty good and same thing again for this heading you want to come back over to the Google sheet and you just want to grab the hook now so we can copy the hook come back over and paste it right there we'll drag that to be in the center of the screen right about there and that looks pretty good. And next, we can just click on this text that we just put here, right click and select duplicate. And then we'll drag it down a little bit more. And for this one, you wanna come over to the Google Sheet. And for this one, we're gonna select the body and paste the body in there. So I'll just paste a little bit of that for now. And we'll come over, we'll delete this, and we'll paste the body right there. And we'll make sure it fits again. That way people can read it on the screen. Just size it like that, make it a little bit bigger, that way people can read it. And that looks pretty good right there. So now, so far we have the title, we have the hook, and we have the body. So if we come back over to the Google Sheet, we're on number 12, all we need left is the option one, option two, option three, and then the answer. So what we can do is we can come over to Canva, select text again, we'll grab the heading, drag it over. And this one we'll just format again like we've been doing. So we'll do something like this. And we'll select a background effect again. This time I think for the color maybe we should do something like blue. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe for the text color we'll do white. That way it really stands out. And then for this we can go ahead and drag it somewhere down there and what we're gonna wanna do is copy this three more times that way we have option one option two option three and the answer if it sounds confusing just copy me and it'll make sense in the end so duplicate it three times one two three and for now we'll just spread them out a little that way we can see them And then basically what we're going to do is copy over the information from here onto those. So as we can see, sloth is option one, monkey is option two, and lion is option three, and then sloth is the answer. So we'll do sloth, monkey, lion, and then sloth was the answer, so we'll say sloth. And now since this one is the answer, I think we should make it look a little bit different than the rest. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna come over to this effects and I'll make it green because the answer is usually green. Maybe that one looks a little bit better. I think that looks perfect. 
Okay, so now that we have this, I want to group together Sloth, Monkey, and Lion because that's the three options and they're going to be on screen at the same time. So I'm just going to move these other things out of the way for now. And then I'm going to select these and I'm going to group them together. That way they're grouped together on here and it'll, it'll make sense in a minute. We can drag this back up. Drag this one back up. And now we just want to adjust the timing down here in the reel. That way it makes sense. So we want this to pop up first, the question, and then these three options, and then the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that over here. You just drag it to where it makes sense. I'm going to cut forward. That way you guys don't have to sit here and watch. But it's pretty simple. Like I said, you just kind of drag. You can move things around like that. And we're just going to drag it around until it makes sense. Okay, so now we have it fully adjusted and it does make sense in the order that it's in, but it's a little basic, so I want to spice it up a little bit and make it a little more fun to watch. So to do this, there's a few different things we can do. And the first step is I want to add an image. So we're going to come over here and we can look up, and maybe let's look up capybara. Because people tend to love capybaras. And here's a good photo right there. So if we just drag that in, and we will place it right there and now that we have him we can remove the background and then make him a little bit bigger that way he stands out and now we want to animate everything on the screen that way everything's moving and the rail feels like it's alive and not boring so to do this just click on every single thing the title the questions the animal and you come over to this animate button and just pick one that you like all right we'll pick ascend for that now for the capybara for the animate I think that one looks pretty good the whip slide for this we will just go typewriter for the questions we can go with maybe like a bounce or something that looks pretty good and then for the answer maybe like a pop looks pretty good and then for the fun fact afterwards, we could do something like that. And now if we take a look, you can see we have a pretty good Instagram reel that is actually fun to watch. So let's watch it through. And now I think I want to add this a little bit earlier because I think that will keep people watching if they see that sooner. So let's see, maybe even a little bit earlier than that. We almost want it right at the beginning of the video to hook the viewer in. Now if we click play, you see that, you see that, and then the question comes up, you read it, and then you see the answers, you have a little quick timer to check, and then the answer pops up, and then maybe the fun fact pops up a little bit earlier as well. So you see, it's a little bit of a testing game that you have to do, but once you get the hang of it, the good thing is you only have to do this once. Because once we have this set up, it's going to create unlimited reels after this one time. So let's see. I think this one will be the winner. So this looks really good so far. Now we have the options that they can pick from. Perfect. And then a quick fun fact. Awesome. I think that looks pretty good. So we'll end the video right about there. We could just drag everything to end right there. And now I think something that might be worth doing is adding some music to the background just to keep it a little bit more fun and engaging. So what you can do is you can come over to a website that has free music. If you Google something like, I don't know, let's say copyright free music. Copyright free music. I think YouTube even has a library that you can go to. And come to a website like this We'll do this one, why not? That one's a little bit loud. Let's try to find like a, maybe this?
one's pretty good. So we'll pick this one. We can probably just download it right there. Come back over to Canva and down here at the bottom where it says add audio, come over to upload and upload an audio file. I uploaded one right here, so I would upload that one. So we'll just come to add audio, uploads, background music. And it should be there now. There we go. We can adjust it to where it fits. Okay, so now we have the audio uploaded. This should be the perfect reel. And that's really good. So now is where all the magic really happens. So what you want to do on Canva now is come over to this app section and you can look up an app called Bulk Create. So it will pop up right about here, but I've already downloaded it. So I'm just gonna come over to mine right here. Just click on that Bulk Create, click on Enter Data Manually, clear that table, and then come back over to your Google Sheet and select the first 30 rows or so including the title so we will go just like that do that copy it and then come back over into canva click up here paste the whole thing that way it looks something like that done and now this is the most important step of the video because this is what's going to make it able to create hundreds of thousands of reels if you want is we want to map all the data that we have so basically what we have to do is tell canva what everything is so peculiar animal habits if we come back over that's going to be the title and then if we find the hook we have to tell canva that that's the hook if we find the body we have to tell canva that's the body so we're just going to go like this and to do this you can just click on that right click connect data that's the title so now canva knows that this is the title and then if we come over here, what animal sleeps about 22 hours a day? I think that was the hook. Yep, so that's the hook. So connect data, hook. Now this, we do need to ungroup for this part. So just click on group. And then this is gonna be option one. So we're gonna right click again, connect data, option one. Monkey is option two. And lion was option three. Connect data, option three. And then we come over to the answer, right click, connect data, that's the answer. And then this was the body, right? Connect data, body. So now we have all of these connected. You can see they're all highlighted. This is where it creates all of the reels for you completely on autopilot. Is all you want to do is click this continue button and it's going to go through the rest of these rows that we've picked and create a reel for every single one of these. So here we go create 28 designs for us after a few moments it will bring you to a page like this and you can see we now have 30 or so different variations of that reel And just like that, you guys now have the ability to create thousands of viral reels and I think we did that in what under 20 minutes. So as promised, if you guys would like access to the AI agent that comes up with unlimited YouTube shorts ideas, as well as the Google sheet template to log all of these ideas and make these viral videos for yourself, it's available over here at my community. You could start a seven day free trial today. And this community is basically a hub for anybody looking to learn how to make money online while using AI. And you can see we have over 780 members right now, and we have members that live all across the world so if you guys want to join you could start your seven day free trial and you'll also get access to all of these blueprints that are going to give you step-by-step -step tutorials as well as copy and paste templates that give you ways to make money online with ai so if you guys want to join one of the fastest growing ai groups in the world i'll leave that link in the description Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions and I'll be happy to help you guys out. See you guys in the next one. Bye.